Welcome to the ZFX Application Manager. Here you can see the login screen. Initially, both username and password are empty. The credentials are bound to the ZFX portal, so if you happen to have a portal account, you can enter your appropriate username and password here. To make your life easier, we decided to retrieve the credentials from the ZFX Manager, which you maybe have already installed on your computer. The application manager will try to copy the credentials when you haven't filled a field and conveniently offers you the fields pre-filled when you start it. Just click on Login to enter the ZFX application manager. Now you can see the main screen of the application manager. At the start, the Applications tab is already loaded for you. It features the products which you have purchased and activated and which you can install on your computer. Later we will go into more detail about the Applications tab. The Subscriptions tab shows the products which you have purchased and activated, such as also support items. You can see the end date of your subscription and for support items also the aggregated and distinct amount of hours. In this case we have uh, the ZFX Interscan Manager support item with an aggregated amount of 50 hours and distinct of 10 and 40 hours. On the right side you can see the end dates. Activation, the third item in the list will give you the possibility to redeem your activation codes. Just enter into the text box the activation code which you can find on the product activation card supplied to you by ZFX. The application manager will contact the server after you clicked on activate to find out which product you have activated. When the activation was successful you will see the product as a new feature in both subscriptions and applications if it is installable. In the top right corner you will see a cogwheel, which will open a menu with the items settings, logout and exit. The settings will prompt you with a little settings dialog where you can say the installer path and the language which should be displayed. The second option, Logout, will log you out from the ZFX application manager and prompt you with the login screen. Exit will completely quit the application manager because if you just click on the X on top of the window, it will just minimize to the task tray and you ha can double click it there or right click and click on open to reopen the application manager again. Now back to the most important applications tab. And the lines contain the activated products which you can install. You can also see applications which you have not yet activated but which are on your computer. You should activate them in order to be able to update them. In this case we have the App Manager test application which has not yet been activated and because of that the buttons are disabled for update and removal. The Applications tab has several columns. You will find here the title of the product And if it requires a dongle, you will find the USB symbol next to the title. The size of the download is in the center column. And three or four buttons on the right side to manage the application. The update button will download the most recent update for you. The trash bin button will remove the application from your computer. The blue arrow button will start the application and the black button indicates that you have to download or install the application first, which you can do by clicking it. 
While I go on, I will download the manager to show you how it looks like. You will be prompted with a question whether you want to install the ZFX manager, which I will confirm now, and then you can see that the download starts and counts up here and the progress bar slowly fills. Now while the download continues, off to some gimmicks. You can also start or install an application by clicking the title which you can see prompts you with some kind of link, much like a link in a browser. You will also receive a hint by hovering over the respective icons like update or removal or starting which will give you hints what that button is about. Here you can also see that it says don't require. Now we shortly wait for the ZFX manager download to complete. And you can also um, see here the version below the title and if you have a version which is lower than the most recent version your installed version is in brackets behind and the most recent version is in front stating in this case that 105 is the most recent one and the install one is 104. Now as ZFX Manager download is approaching its completion we can continue with the installation and I will go through it fast to give you an impression about the dynamic nature of the application manager. I will just install it to the common directory which is recommended and once it is installed you will see that the status in the application manager switches to installed and you have the option to remove the ZFX manager or to start it. This concludes our short tour through the ZFX application manager. Thank you for your attention.